In this video, we're going to show you an easy stone veneer install. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In our last video, we got our wood stove installed and that went great, but now we're ready to install our stone veneer on the wall back here behind it. Not only is it going to help protect the wall from the heat, but I think it's going to look awesome too. So in this video, we're going to talk about what kind of stone veneer we're going to use and we're going to show you how to install it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. All right guys, so the stone we're gonna be using for this is from Evolve Stone, and it's actually not real stone, it's a faux stone product that actually looks very natural. As you can see, it has a lot of different colors in it. Each stone comes in different shapes and sizes, and no two stones are the same, so it's gonna have a very natural look once you get it up on the wall. There are no real repeating patterns or anything either, so they can just be installed at random and they can also be cut to size if you need to. One thing that really surprised me is just how light each of these is. This stuff only weighs two pounds per one square foot. It does advertise that it's moisture impermeable, so it can be used in wet conditions. It can be used for interior or exterior applications. And for our purposes, the stone that we have here is fire rated. Now you need to make sure you know what you're buying. Evolve Stone does offer these products both in fire rated and non fire rated. But of course, since we're going behind our wood stove, we did want to have a fire rated product. Now, as you can see, these are individual stones. So you can stack them at random pretty much any way you want to do it. And they can be installed on nearly any wall surface, including wood, sheetrock. But as you can see behind us, we've already prepped our wall. And since this is gonna be behind a wood stove, we decided to put up some cement board on the wall to make it as heat resistant as possible. And I'll give you a quick recap on what that process looked like. Like I said, if you are using this type of stone near any type of heat source, especially a wood stove like we're doing here, you wanna make sure you're using the fire rated product. And we've really gone to every extent to make sure that we are being nice and safe with our cement board backer, our fire rated Evolve stone. And we're also gonna be installing a heat shield behind the stove just as an extra layer of protection. Now what's really great about this stuff is not just how light and easy to handle it is, it's also how easy it is to install. The only thing you're gonna need to install this on your wall is a nail gun. This is a cordless 18 gauge brad nailer from Porter Cable, but really any brad nailer or finished nailer will get the job done. We're gonna be using two inch brad nails to fasten these to the wall. Now let's get started. Now's a good time to go ahead and install our heat shield. And to do that, we're just gonna be using lag screws and these one inch standoffs that I found at Lowe's. We're gonna center it on the wall and pre-drill our holes and screw it in. Now it's important that your heat shield be at least an inch from the wall. That air gap is really gonna help dissipate that heat coming off of that stove. Now let's get back to nailing these things up.
Like I said before, these can be cut to size. So when I get to the end, I'm just gonna mark the amount that needs to be cut off. And one great thing about these blocks is they can be cut using your normal woodworking tools. Now I'm not sure if it's because I'm nailing into cement board, but I did notice my battery powered nailer struggled to push these nails all the way through. So I'd say one out of every 15 nails I had to cut using these little snips. And you'll notice going forward in the video that I switched over to my pneumatic nailer. That was a little more powerful and I didn't have that issue anymore. It may be a good idea to try to lay these out and come up with a plan for how you're going to install them. But keep in mind, this doesn't have to be perfect. If you end up with gaps or irregular sizes, that's not a big deal. These are super easy to cut. And by the time it's all up, you're not going to notice small imperfections. This was not a difficult process, but it was very time consuming. And we are finally done. All right, that is it for our stone veneer and our wood stove. I hope you like this series, guys. It was a lot of fun and actually not too difficult to do. Don't forget, guys, we're gonna have links to all this stuff in the description below. And if you have any questions or anything, make sure you let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.